Hello friends, I'm Jess Altieri and welcome to Wine Channel TV for our special SIP New Zealand event. Today I'm at Reverie in downtown Chicago joined by the one and only Food Buddha himself, Chef Fridelio. Great to see you again. Good to see you too. Um, so today we are sipping some fantastic Nautilus Estate Pinot Noir. You actually got a chance to meet with winemaker Clive Jones when he was here. I'm kind of jealous. I wasn't here. Uh, it, it was amazing. You That's know, what we, I heard. We helped I mean, introduce the 30th vintage of, uh, I believe, their Sauvignon their Blanc. Their Sauvignon Blanc, yeah. Exactly. But you know what I loved about him was, as a winemaker, I can appreciate like his approach because as a chef, right. and he definitely there's a lot of balance and a lot of structure to the wines, but it's also food friendly. The style is really. He knows what he's doing. Been making wine since 1998, so he definitely knows how to make some fantastic wine. And so I love this Pinot. I think that it has. When I put it up to my nose. It's like almost some nice, almost raspberry, mm -hmm. bright red cherry, a little bit of fresh sage notes Absolutely. to it. But it has that smooth, lingering finish. So I think it would be a great pairing with what you got here. Tell me about that. I think so. Well, this is this is the color of our Brass Monkey. This is our signature Brass roll. Monkey? Funky? That I like funky it. Funky Monkey. Where do you think exactly. of these names? Yabba Dabba Doo, uh, Brass Monkey. I'm a DMC fan, you know, I, and a BC Boy fan. So I come up with like these songs as my Brass roles. Monkey. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so tell me how you make this though. I want to know like the preparation that goes well, in this. Well, first of all, that we, doesn't look easy. We use purple we, rice. So okay. we use a uh, ratio of black organic rice, okay, and white rice, and so you get this purple hue to it. So a little bit of signature here at Reverie. Got it. And then so we fill this one with a little bit of shrimp, shrimp tempura and some uh, snow crab, Ooh. A little avocado, cucumber, give a little texture, and then we top it off with our spicy tuna. And then we have two sauces. One is a spicy sesame sauce, and then a unagi sauce. There's a little smoky okay. to it, and then crispy onions. Yeah, hey, try one. Oh, uh, mm, it is like sweet but crunchy. Exactly. Let's try with the wine now. Mm-hmm. Mm, mouth is full, but that's a winner. It does, it has that really nice texture to it. And with the Pinot Noir, it really brings out the flavors. And you talked about, Absolutely. that's a killer pairing. That's a great platform. It allows everything on the, t the roll, the roll to, to kind of jump off of it. It really does. Yeah, but not, not, a, not a lot, and so you can keep going back and having a little bit more of the wine. All right, you know. I can't wait to come back and have some more of this brass monkey. They should do this in New Zealand. Yeah, Purple monkey. rice, monkey monkey. <laughs> For more information, make sure to visit winechannel.tv.com. Until next time, I'm just Jess reminding you that wine is just a conversation waiting to happen. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, brass monkey.